Psycho. Why do I sound so quiet to myself? I have no idea. Look, they're not bouncy today, but they are like, it's a little bit jestery. This is like added to the headband. <laughs> that pulled my hair and it hurt a lot. Me. <laughs> Hello. I'm actually testing the sound. So I'm going to stop in a second. Okay. How's everybody going? Here we are. It's a top fails after all. Tattoos. Tattoos going okay. Itchy. Itchy. Puppies. Going okay. Oh, right on cue. Thank you. Pet squeak. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Brothers. We got Pip Squeak and Chunk. Look at them. <laughs> They're so teeny tiny. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, hello. Still hand feeding little Pipsqueak, but he's. And look, he does look poorly, but he's doing well, okay? Here, you hop on Chunk's back. He's so big. <laughs> okay. I'll put him back. Okay. The sound is fine, hopefully. Give me feedback if I. If. 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 <laughs> it's not. And I just need to remember to to be here, here, okay? So we are going to look at some top fails because it's time for a shorter video. Shorties, shorties. I know I should call it like quickies, but I'm short. He's short. We're all short. Shorties. Okay. I did get some suggestions for puppy names. I have to keep an eye on Minnie because she knew. Uh, her favourite thing to do at the moment is to go and um, hide in the cupboard with the puppy. And I do not trust her whatsoever because she has been known to kill her own puppies. So, in the last video, I'm pretty sure she took him, like I had to stop. That's when I was live and I had to go, oh! I think I was live. Maybe I was live. Oh no, I was live. Well, my last video was live. Okie dokie. So, we've got the top fails. Who are we going to look at today? We got Courtney Shortney, a little bit from her. We've got a little bit from Kelsey Ray, who's bought an Airbnb. Uh, Alright, we're organised again and I've got the baby because Minnie sucks. <laughs> She's been trying to take it away. Okay, okay. We are going to share the second screen. Oh, you know we got some Bethany coming. Two feelings at the same time. One, embarrassment that I'm now ju I'm just now learning about money and starting to save. Two, proud that this savings account has come from my work partnering with Amaro. True story. I didn't have a savings account until I was 36. No matter how hard I tried, getting ahead seemed like a distant dream. If I went back to work, it just meant more bills. A job covering co childcare costs would know out what I made. Ugh, this expression is no good. Sure, John's job kept us afloat. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, mate. But we have four kids and I wanted to provide for our future as a team. Okay, so you had those four kids. It's up to you to ascertain whether you can afford th that or not, you know. If you wouldn't, if you couldn't have afforded it, then you shouldn't have had them, you know. Uh, then things changed. John wasn't doing this thing solo anymore because I switched companies. My former company had me paying more than I was making, falling for, by the promos, a garbage. So she's been in an MLM before. So she's always been unethical, right. Uh, and we found out the power of having an additional income stream, opening doors we never thought possible. Purchasing products we use every day, not stocking and not sending out welcome gifts. And something John supported and could get behind after seeing the impact on the work, mental wellness in our home. Do you mean, did you mean to say after the impact on your bank account? Because that's what you mean. Uh, I'm not here to convince you of anything. Get the 
fuck out of here. I'm here to tell you about options, real life changing options. Right now, Amara is in a phase of hypergrowth. The need for mental illness solutions is huge. Yeah, there is a need for it, but Amara is not the one. Amara is not going to do jack shit except for a placebo effect and drain your bank account. Uh, one of four people are seeking help and our products, they address this need at a root level, offering real healing. No, they don't, and you can't prove that, and you shouldn't be saying it. This is more than an opportunity. It's a movement, a chance to make significant impact while securing your financial future. Does Amara have an income disclosure statement? I cannot remember. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm earning on my teams. On my terms. <laughs> it does say terms, but it should say teams. Okay. Uh, with Amara, you're stepping into a realm of incredible possibilities. Address a critical societal need with our products. Earn up to 38% commission on orders. Start securing monthly incomes from 500, 2,500 in the early stages. Travel with the world with us. Next stop, Greece and Italy. Change lives with our unmatched products and income opportunities. Ew. Uh, so I think the next one is, what, so she has 20 grand in the bank. That's not normal, Bethany. Look at that fucking smug smile too. This woman is cashing in on taking advantage of people's desperate need, not want, need for help with their mental wellness. And she's fucking around in that area. Oh, she makes me mad. She makes me so mad. People have joined her because of all those things that she talks about. Sobriety, mental illness, the way that she flexes her masters and, you know, like her education, which she just uses to recruit people. It's disgusting and fucking unethical and she should be ashamed of herself. Don't fuck around with people's sobriety. And this is what Peter, Peter Mon says as well. Um, if you're fucking around with a, an addict's sobriety, you're fucking around with their life and death, okay? And it's disgusting and she needs to be stopped. Um, you know, what can we do? Clantown and I, we, we've written to the Washington State Board of Medical Health. We've, you know, like, we're, she was featured in Tina in Truth and Advertising. Um, she's just a menace to society. And she's using all of these things that she puts in her bio as a way of tricking people and I know that it's about a year ago that I first came into contact with her when I talked someone out of joining her because this person was on the same uh, medication I was for opiate uh, addiction suboxone and she was going to tell that she was telling them that they could get off their medication with fucking Amare so fuck Bethany sorry <laughs> she makes me really angry it's dangerous. And this isn't an ad hominem attack. Okay? What she does is could directly harm somebody. And she may have already harmed the people. And we just don't know about it. So, you know. Because I can imagine that a lot of people feel shame for falling for something like this. And that's why they don't say anything. You know? Uh, because... There is so much education out there about MLMs and the dangers and things like that, that um, when people get sort of, you know, get tricked, they feel silly. And don't feel silly. They are sophisticated. These people are apex predators who basically will do anything and say anything to get you to buy their product so then they can sign you up. Their ultimate goal is to sign you onto the team. They don't give a fuck about you buying a product, really, except that that's their gateway into recruiting you. Okay? Oh, it's making me wild. Okay, next we are going to do... I've got another one from her. I've got some Optavia ones. Let's have a look at Courtney shortly. Oh, hang on, it's going to play on, my, on the wrong screen. Great day to have a great day! <clears throat> How is everybody? I am pretty sure I didn't get all the makeup off my eyebrows, because... I don't have a makeup like this. This one's darker than this one. Why are they so pointy? I'm confused. I saw Arby at um, the Epic. Have I got it? Is it on my phone? I won't be able to show. Let's talk about it. Anyway, enough about that. How's everybody doing? How are you feeling? How is your Tuesday flowing? Kaden? Kaden is always on the on the talk. How's your drink? Uh, not really, because you often will ignore him, so... That water I'm filling up. 
One, two, three. Good? It's good? Oh, my only to that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I take just vitamins, supplements, things that will help my DNA repair. As a woman, we have extra vitamins that we need. We need adrenal support. This is this. That was really with the real. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh, can I go to the next one from here? What? Why did you? Why did you share that? That was so weird. <laughs> okay, this is a Ray Ray one, okay? Hey, check this out from Eagles quarterback Jalen. My favorite scripture, John 13 7. You may not know now, but so then you understand. Just, just reminds me to keep, continue to be patient, continue to, to remain diligent, steadfast, keep going. Keep your eyes on me and keep God at the center. So powerful, yes. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's, it's just so cool seeing how God is moving in sports right now. I mean, in the past, I mean, just in the past few years, moving in sports right now. I mean, in the past, I mean, just in the past few years, you just didn't see prominent figures like Jalen or Brock Purdy or any of these guys talk much about God. But man, it's really, he is on the move. If you agree, drop me an Ray, have you not watched a, an award ceremony? I'd like to thank God. God, are you kidding? Maybe you just weren't looking at it because you've only cared. You've only cared about God for the past year. I realize it was a year. Because a memory came up on TikTok where he was saying, my favorite book, my favorite business book at the moment is not this, not that. It's the Bible. <laughs> um, haven't you seen a touchdown where they go like, and they point to the sky? Are you... Ray, you suck. All right. <laughs> That's my commentary. He sucks. Uh, who have we got now? Oh, Kelsey Ray! Kelsey Ray! And why have we got Kelsey Ray? <coughs> She's interesting. No, I picked this because... You'll see. Like, I will talk... No, why will you see... I'll talk about it after we watch the video. I know it's short. Okay, how did you go from this to this, girlfriend? Um, I've got to tell you, five weeks is not a very long time, and I'm pretty sure uh, she talked about it being a calorie deficit. I'm going to, this is in my own opinion, with my own life experience, and looking at her sister... It's the, you know, you know what I'm going to say, people, you know. It's Ozempic. I guess that's my guess. Okay, it's just a guess. All right. Because I've seen so many of these MLMers who are just, who have always, like, are you kidding me? Kelsey Ray's body is banging at the beginning as well. Like, it's not, thinness doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Like, it's not. Like, it doesn't mean her body's better. It doesn't mean she's healthier, etc., etc. Uh, she has a banging body, no matter what. And because the sister is also... Dropping, oh, so she's had that, that body right. And, you know, like, her, her youngest is still quite young. So she doesn't... It doesn't matter how long, if you want to get rid of the baby weight, whatever. All right? The reason why you put on weight, uh, because you give birth to a human... You know, leave everybody alone if they want to, whatever they do with it. So, yeah, my guess, it, like, looking at all these people uh, and knowing how quickly they're losing weight, it's just a guess. Okay, so I'll show you a picture of her sister, Lindy. So, Lindy here, so this is an anti MLM, but auntie MLM. I'm sure she loves the way I say that. So, Lindy uh, is Kelsey Ray's sister. And she's also in Prove It, and they were uh, at the top of Empire, Jesse Lee Ward's team. And she has lost weight as well, you can see in the face. Hi, editing Tish here, just to say that during this moment, I got a package, and I got some amazing watercolour paints that I unboxed. So there's an unboxing at the end, if you want to see it. It's exciting. Uh, fancy watercolour paints, okay? So, yeah. Um, Back to talking about.
Lindy and the all the people on Ozempic. Okay. Anyway, Lindy, Kelsey Ray, a bunch of others. Ozempic. Alrighty. Oh, smoke Bethany. Let me get rid of that. I don't want to watch any more of Bethany, so I'm not going to watch any more of Bethany. Now, I don't know how long this one is, uh, but I think it was when she got the Essa that her and her partner have an Airbnb. Let me see how long this is. Because right, so somebody told me, do not get emotionally attached to your Airbnb properties because of damage and flooding and things that could happen to the property. Um, lady, I don't know who the fuck said that to me, but we just spent four days pouring our blood, sweat, and tears, almost getting, not just separating, but like almost like beating each other up. Um, I'm emotionally invested as fuck. Um, so I don't, if most people may not know, may know this, sorry. Um, but for somebody like Kelsey Ray, who was a convicted felon, and this isn't alleged, this is, she has done this, it's provable, uh, she's an attempted murderer, she, she and some friends of hers tried to kill another person, and when she was 17 or 18, and she went to jail and so on, when somebody who has that past says that they're going to beat up their partner, that's concerning to me, so... And over what? A, a, an investment property that you are using to get more rich. Okay. Like, if y'all rent my Airbnb, you better fucking take care of it. Do you hear me? You better fucking take care of it. It's in Hickory, North Carolina. The listing's going up tomorrow night. I'm hoping. Um, so, again, if you do not take care of Kelsey Ray's Airbnb, would she is a volunteer? No one is saying you have to have an airbnb no one is saying that you have to rent out your property you have a dwelling a second dwelling that you do not need okay and you don't have to rent it out or or have it as an airbnb but if people do anything to it you're going to fucking what did she say she was gonna you better treat it well hang on okay. You better fucking take care of it. Do you hear me? You better fucking take care of it. It's in Hickory, North Carolina. You better take care of it. I'm going to take that as a bit of a threat there. Again, as somebody who is a convicted, attempted murderer, don't do that. God damn. I'm hoping. Um, but I'm like literally like so excited. I'm going to do a tour after we get it posted. Like I'll post the TikTok that I have made uh, the tour. But I'm so emotionally invested and attached as fuck. Like I want to cry. Happy tears. And... If it gets messed up in any way, which I'm sure is going to happen, I'll probably cry. But it's fine. Uh, four days. Took us four fucking days. We did it! Uh, and I think it's like under 7,000. Maybe 8,000 in total. I'll give you guys an update on that too. I'll go live on Facebook or something. But I'm so fucking excited. I'm so happy. It just was such an amazing experience. Except me. that you nearly broke up with your partner and um, like you were going to beat each other up. And that you're going to cry. Like this is a home. A second home. Not even your... Okay. God damn these people. I don't want to watch any more, Bethany. All right. So this is... We'll start... Okay. We'll start with this one. So Doug, Wood, and a few of the other people from Optavia did a... Did a... What are they called? Hard body competition? I oh, know you can't see the bottom half of me, but hey, my shirt has four dash hands on it. I don't have four dash hands. I don't have four dash hands in here. I got five. Well, technically not. I, I haven't finished paying for. Mr. Murphy, Mr. Raphael, Mr. Jasper. This is, I haven't decided on his name yet. I think I should wait to meet him. What do you reckon, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Frankenfurter was another one, but it's a bit... It's a bit long. I like it, and I love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, yeah, so they did this hard body competition, and this is one of the photos from it. Yes. Sometimes I just wish that, um, uh, like, there was, like, a lobotomy where you could just touch something. You know, like this little port, and you can just touch, beep, and just wipes something from your memory. And this is it. Now, the thing that I don't like, first of all, this is obviously being used 
to promote Optivia. Why? How do I know that? Because of this thing down here. Average weight loss on an optimal weight five and one plan is twelve pounds. Are you telling me these men are on the five and one? Because they fucking aren't. Okay. These men are not on the five and one. So what the fuck is it doing in as a an Optivia? Oh, I send this to Trigger advertising. This is Summer Maritza's Moran, sorry, post. Not only have they rewritten their stars, they've taken their... How do you rewrite the stars? What the hell? They've taken their health into to entirely new levels. Mike and I are very pr- are so very proud to cheer on these incredible friends of ours. Yeah. And now, the thing that I object to most here is the before folk... I mean, the tans. That's, <laughs> that's a given. Okay, the tans are crazy. Uh, but the before picture that Doug is using here, this is from 10 years ago. This is before, maybe longer. Oh, no, how long? Hang on. Was it? I can't remember how long they've been in Optivia. But this is for before Optivia. This is when he was still working um, in the furniture store. Yeah. And he's had surgery. Okay. I don't know about these other men. I think this dude needs to keep his facial hair. He looks kind of scary with, like, nothing. This looks like, it looks like a penis. It, like, just the, the shape, it looks phallic. <coughs> um, yeah, so Doug's before photo is very misleading. Oh, sorry, he had surgery. He's had a breast reduction. He's had gender-affirming surgery. Nice work, Doug. Haven't heard him be transphobic, but if he ever was, would I mention this? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. So we're going to have a look at a couple of posts from Summer. So, Summer said, shocking, I know. I didn't reach my goal weight using a machine like this. Actually, I tried to work off the pounds, but shockingly, that didn't work. I would lose weight, then almost instantly gain it back. (sighs) Why? Because I needed to focus on correcting my habits first. This unqualified Optivia coach is not recommending... She said, don't do cardio to lose weight. That's not how it's done. Okay. Okay. And she admits to yo-yoing back and forth. And what have you been on for so long, Summer? Five and one. The five and one is the reason that you go back and forth because it is a starvation diet. The I've recommended it a few times. Um, the the podcast, I think it's Yates Nutrition, and she describes she describes the symptoms of malnutrition, and that's what the um, that's what they are talking about. You're malnourished. Um, so. So I found sim- a, I found simple plan and learned how to easily feel my body right. Yes, you heard me. Easy and simple. Yeah, I know you said that, but you didn't express it well. It doesn't have to be hard and painful. Um, watch Hannah Alonzo and Brianna Jill's videos on the on the uh, food. I imagine it's a very hard and painful. Then once I was in a healthy fat burn, I incorporated physical fitness, not as punishment, but as a reward to moving to the next level in my health. Want to lose weight and can't work out? No worries, I've got you. Because you're not allowed to work out on the five and one. Why? Because you aren't eating enough uh, calories to actually function as a human. (laughs) Want to lose weight and start working out in a small way? No worries, I've got you. Working out and loving it, but not loving the fat still in your body? No worries, I got you. You got goals, I have results. Let me help you find a place that you can have lifelong health and thrive. You can't promise that, and you don't, that's not what, fucking hell, you know, these people. And what is she going to recommend? The amino acids? Yeah? These shitty fuelings. It's just bad. And so, Summer's husband, and her hat says, shine, shrink shrink shine ew they don't care about being healthy they care about being thin they care about less numbers on the scale that's all they care about and i bet you they're all celebrating mike who's summer's husband who has prostate cancer at the moment why would he be like why would he be losing weight because he has prostate cancer and the other day i saw a live on aaron's channel and uh it was just Mike by himself and he was talking about the treatments that he's been using and It sounded eerily familiar to Jesse Lee's treatments, and we all know how that ended, so, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so this is another one from Summer. If your jeans are yelling at you, no worries, I got you. Why is she repeating that? <laughs> Let's not go into the new year feeling uncomfortable. Or shoot, having or shoot, having to unbutton the top button to breathe. Oh man, I've been there. What? That's confusing. My jeans say no more Christmas goodies, but my leggings are like, we got you, girl. And there was a comment on here that said, this is why I have this. Listen to the jeans. Because you're not allowed to have any Christmas goodies, you see. Listen to the jeans. Listen to the jeans. Damn. Okay, one more. Guess who has a fit club, everybody? Doug and Tia opened a gym. And look, an exclusive call for personal trainers and fitness influencers. They want fitness influencers. Uh, alrighty, yep. So it's called the Hive, the Hive Fit Club. They are. This is them. Like this is their fucking gym. Are you ready to explore what Hive is all about? Hive Fit Club isn't just another gym. It's an experience like no other. You'll get to meet our founders, Doug and Tia Wood, and learn about Top Notch Fitness Group. Top notch fitness gear and our awesome spa and recovery facility. You'll also meet our head personal trainer, Nate. If you want to level up your training game and be part of our mission, you've got to be on this call. Here's what you need to do come ready to learn some cool stuff. Try to limit distractions. Focus chat. Turn on your camera to connect with the hive team. Um, you're not the boss. Why are you already bossing them around? to like this is like a normal call like an mlm call Ooh. our next call is december 13th think about it you're not just joining a call you're becoming part of fitness history right in your own neighborhood dm us immediately if you're interested in becoming a part of the hive family yeah. hive fit club will be a 22,000 square foot gym located blah 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 soon offering cutting edge gym equipment a diverse wellness spa and a vibrant community space blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I'm concerned about a couple of words in there. Mission, be part of our mission, when they are so religious. I think that that's, that's a problem. And all of this language here is basically like, uh, coded language. Now, Nate, I have done a video on him and Doug having a chat because they were like, oh my god, the EAAs are so great, and, the, and like the protein powder is one of the best I've ever heard. How much did you pay him to say that? No. Anyway, very sus, and I do not believe that uh, they are not, that this is just going to be a gym. They're going to try and recruit, you know. You know that that's it. How, and gyms, I think gyms are hard to, to be successful at. It's a very competitive market, you know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they go, and, oh. I just think it's suspicious and they don't have this just being fit yourself doesn't mean that you should be telling other people's how to other people how to do it and the other thing i think that they will do is it'll become kind of like a uh, a place where they can bring their team and you know like use as a way of you know having rewards and so on and uh yeah i think it's gonna be terrible <laughs> to be honest there we go everybody a little bit of a uh of a, what is it? <laughs> Top fails. Shorties. Woo! I just looked at the screen instead of looking at the camera and I'm embarrassed of that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, have a good one. We've got it. We're live tomorrow with the Clown Town around about lunchtime for Australians and around about dinner time for Americans. So, we will be. I think we're looking at Ray. Yeah, we are looking at Ray. So, come with your pitchforks. I might have a, oh yes, I'll have a demon, a devil themed Christmas, Christmas de demon, ooh, there you go, I'm thinking about it now, I'm thinking about it, okay, have a good one everybody, and happy Tishmas, happy Tishmas, happy Tishmas, happy Tishmas, why is one, one's like, bent up, no, I want that one to do that too, and we've got a little goodbye from Pipsqueak, Oh, pee pee. Pee pee. And chunk back there. Having, having a good old sleep. Okay. Bye.
this is an unboxing. Thank you. I got watercolor paints and I opened it up and I thought I only ordered one, so I don't know how I got another set because they are expensive. The the one that I got was like seventy dollars. <laughs> You're gonna go believe what's in here. Oh, I'm gonna dox myself. This is watercolor paint and it's meant to be just like one teeny beauty thing. I got a Dr. Pepper with creamy soda. No, we don't have zero. We don't get zero in America, in Australia. Well, maybe we do. I just haven't found it in my town. This is, it's watercolor paint, but it's a water, it's a card that you can paint so I can collect more. I've only got one of these, so that's going to be interesting. What? I only ordered one. Are you kidding me? This is the only one that I ordered. I don't even know what this is. Is it water? Is it empty? It's empty, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited! <gasps> can you see it? I don't think you can. Oh my Maybe I did order more. Wait, where's that? This just says I only got a prism, which is what that little one was. But there's two. I don't know what this one is. It literally says... Prism. Whoa. That's it. That's all I ordered. Oh my god. They are so cool. Like, that's the fanciest shit ever. Oh, and it's like... Magnetic! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm so I'm gonna be opening up membership soon. <laughs> Don't feel obliged to join the membership. It's just something I'm doing. I'm still gonna be making content. Like, don't worry. Yeah, thank you to all of my viewers. <laughs> I love you. Um, and uh, one of my top tier, you get original artwork, and you're definitely gonna be getting some watercolors. All right, for sure. So this is the paints in action it's really hard to get a clear view of how they actually look in real life but you can see like they're very shiny shiny and i love them and they're very cool i can't believe i got an extra one for free they are gorgeous the name of the company is lissalinka okay and they are amazing all right goodbye